Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Around the World in 30 Days video. This is a travel series, uh, travel scrapbooking series for the month of August. And there are several people playing along. I'm going to try and link up their uh, um, channels down below for you so that you can check them out if you are interested in uh, seeing what they are creating today. So I am again working in my Kawaii 2019 album trying to finish it up hopefully this month and I have these six photos they are aerial photos taken from the helicopter tour that we did so I've got three photos of the coastline of the Nepali coast and um, some interesting facts about those about that area will go into this album and then I've got three of the mountains one shows the middle one shows a lot of the topography of the canyons but the other two show these awesome waterfalls that you really can only see by either like a crazy strenuous hike or um, or by air. So I have this paper from Simple Stories. It is their Simple Vintage Coastal Collection, but I don't end up using it. I end up going with this really old piece of paper out of a Michael's... Um, paper pad. So I think it's from Michael's. I'm, I'm not actually even 100% sure. Um, it could be like DCWV or something like that. But it is from a paper pad. And uh, I really liked the bright yellowy greens because it kind of brought in the color from the bright yellowy greens up above on the, the top row of photos. And it's got that turquoisey back background, which brings in the color from the... Uh, the water in the three bottom photos. This four by six card is from Fifth and Monaco and I am using a lot of Fifth and Monaco in my album or I'm using it here and there in the album I should say. And so I thought I'd pull it in because the big pink portion matches those uh, flowers that are at the um, up the right hand side and then over on the left hand bottom corner there. But I didn't really want so much of the black and white print to be showing. So I'm just kind of fading it out by using a little bit of white acrylic paint and dry brushing it on. Um, you can still see the black and white print, but it's a lot less than it would have been if I hadn't gone through and just whitewashed it here. So that was kind of the goal and that's what I'm working on to, um, make it less pattern because there's so much pattern already in the background paper I didn't really want them the two to compete and I'm just using white acrylic paint it's called white linen and it is from dilutions that's a really old paint pot because now they come in squeezy bottles um, and so if you're looking for that paint pot you probably won't find it uh, my title is going to be waterfalls and coastlines and that's basically what the, the photos are are of the waterfalls and the coastlines and um i i've already scrapbooked quite a few things in this album in fact it's probably going to be two albums because i already have like an album full of stuff but i'm what i'm scrapbooking now um probably throughout most of april august not april i keep saying april most of august is going to be like a lot of supporting photos of scenery and not so much of like me and my husband because I've already scrapbooked quite a few of those. Um, there might be one or two of two, but um, for the most part, it's going to be a lot of scenery type photos. And uh, I thought that was really cool because this is, we don't do a lot of these types of trips for our anniversaries. Um, we did a 10 year, a 15 year, uh, I don't know if we did a 20 year, I have to think about that. And then a 25 year. Um, other than that, we kind of play it really low key. And so um, this was qu quite a big one for the two of us. And I wanted to make sure I captured pretty much everything. <laughs> um, I, I actually didn't scrapbook all of the photos. I still have quite a huge stack of photos that I'm not planning to scrapbook. But um, I am scrapbooking a lot of the scenery and stuff because I do want to remember those moments and uh, the different things that we were able to go and do like this aerial tour in a helicopter. This border strip is from the Fifth and Monaco sticker sheet. You can see there in my hand. I'm trying to decide what else I want to use on this layout. I'm not 100% sure, but I do need to know that it needs something darker on the page because it's all very light right now. And um, I did find this pink ticket sticker in one of the Heidi Swap sticker sheets uh, that is from Artwalk. 
and I think it has the days on it. And so I could mark what day of the week it was that we did this particular tour. It was on a Tuesday in case you're curious about that. But I am also going to use this border sticker um, to kind of just border the, um, the photos and the, the title card. And I think it looks kind of cool. It's not something I've ever done before, I don't think. But um, I like the way that it turns out. So it just brings in a little bit of a, it's not really a frame because it's not going all the way around, but it kind of just emphasizes um, the two spots. And I like the way that it ends up looking. So uh, it, it, it makes me happy. You know, anytime I can add a little bit of black and white to a layout makes me happy. So I did find this little yellow sticker that says yes. It's kind of that limey, lime green yellow color and I thought that matched really well. I'm adding a little bit of gold Heidi Swap color shine because I have gold on a, quite a few of the layouts throughout the album and I am just inking up the outside with some black soot distress ink and I think that is pretty close to being done. Oh I'm going to add a few enamel dots. Um, my enamel dots I'm adding the black matte ones and those are from Gina Marie Designs and um, she has really great priced uh, enamel dots on her website so I will try and remember to put links down below for all of the things that are still available thank you so much for watching if you have questions or comments you can always leave those down below I will get back to you it does take me a little bit of time but I do respond to every single one of them and I really do appreciate the time that you guys take to leave those little notes for me um, don't forget to check out everyone else who is playing along again links are down below and I will see you guys again soon with another video bye bye